this example, we're given a situation in which a student goes to college for four semesters. And then we have listed the number of units in credits or hours the student took per semester. So they took 10 credits one semester, 3 the next, then 13, and then 6. And they define the variable letter name U to tell us the num to represent the number of units taken any in any given one semester. So we're asked now to draw a number line. So if you're drawing this by hand, a couple of important things to keep in mind. You're going to need to look at your smallest value and your largest value and make sure you make a number line long enough to incorporate those. Incorporate those. So here my smallest value is 3, my largest is 13. So starting at 0, that's a little bit below 3 is a great idea. And you want to make it at least go up something above 13. Here we've gone up to 21, but even going to 15 would be sufficient for this example. If you were doing this on a test or for homework or on your paper, you'd want to make sure that your number line had arrows on both ends and also had the variable name labeled next to the number line. So our variable name is U. We're going to put a U next to one of those arrows at either end. And it's very good practice to also label it in units and words. So we'd say this number line is showing us the number of units the student took each semester. Now we're going to graph each of these values. When we graph a number on the number line, we draw a closed circle at that value. So the first number we need to graph is 10. So I go to the number 10 and draw a closed circle at that value. Next I need to graph 3. So I go to 3 and draw a closed circle. And then 13. And then 6. So I've now graphed each of those values. Let's take a look at part 2 of the question. Part 2 asks us to calculate the average of the value and then plot it. So remember, to find the average of a group of numbers, there's two steps. Let me write that up. To find the average, if I can get the pen to work, excuse me. Okay, so here's our two steps for finding the average. We're going to add all the numbers together and then divide by the total number of numbers. This can be a little weird to say the total number of numbers, but you just look at your list of numbers and see how many numbers there were. There were 1, 2, 3, 4, so we're going to end up dividing by 4 in this case. Before we can divide by 4, we have to add them all together. So we're going to add up here 10 plus 3 plus 13 plus 6. When you do that out by hand or on your calculator, you'll get the value 32. And now we take 32 divided by 4. And that gives me 8. So 8 is the average of those values. So I go to my number line, and I see there's not already a circle at the dot 8, so I fill it in. If in your example, your average came out to be one of the numbers that was all filled in, you could draw another circle on top of that circle, but it's hard to show up. So we could also denote it by hand by writing in and saying, this is the average value. Note for the hand drawing that I've done, it's important to denote that this was the average because the label told me it was the number of units taken per semester. So someone reading this graph might have thought that there was a given semester when the student only took eight units. In fact, that's not true. We need to label that as the average to indicate this eight is telling us the average.